very good evening and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received in a Safriya Palace today His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan Al Hussein bin Abdullah II, who arrived in Bahrain on an official visit. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King of Jordan Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein and his wishes of prosperity and development for Bahrain. His Majesty welcomed His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan and asked him to convey his sincere greetings to His Majesty the King of Jordan and wishes for the people of Jordan further development and prosperity, affirming the growing depth of relations between Jordan and Bahrain. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the efforts of His Majesty the King of Jordan in strengthening the relations between the two countries, praising the honorable support of Jordan for Bahrain and its role in defending the Arab nation's affairs. His Majesty praised the role of the Jordanian army and its grand contribution since the establishment of the Bahrain Defense Force. His Majesty affirmed the importance of such visits in opening new opportunities, appreciating the role of His Majesty the King of Jordan and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan in strengthening the ties between the two countries. His Majesty then granted His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan the Medal of the Renaissance in appreciation for his efforts and contributions. For his part, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan congratulated His Majesty the King on the 51st BDF anniversary, expressing thanks and appreciation for the medal and the warm welcome and expressing happiness for this visit, affirming pride in the strong relations between the two countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received in a Safriya Palace today the Commander in Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Defense Affairs Minister, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hussein Al Naimi bin Hassan Al Naimi, Chief of Staff of Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Al Naimi, and a number of senior officials. The guests expressed congratulations on the occasion of BDF's 51st establishment anniversary and praised 
raised the support of His Majesty the King for the PDF. His Majesty the King directed a pardon for a number of military judiciary convicts after spending a period of their sanctions. His Majesty also directed the grant of appreciation medals to a number of officers and defense force personnel. His Majesty expressed congratulations for the officers, BDF members and Bahraini citizens and expressed appreciation for the efforts of the BDF's members in protecting the country's achievements, citizen security and national unity with efficiency, noting that they are the country's protective shield. His Majesty expressed pride in the achievement of establishing a BDF's Bahrain Oncology Center, which is considered a qualitative shift in the field of services and healthcare and is part of the development march aiming at providing the best facilities and health services across Bahrain. He expressed pride in the Bahraini medical competencies, which reached the highest levels of scientific specialization. His Majesty said that in addition to the BDF's performance of its patriotic duties with valor, the country is also witnessing major achievements by the BDF that support its development plans, including offering excellent medical services to citizens, making significant contributions in the field of housing, and achieving high honors in the field of sports. His Majesty added the BDF has proven its competence and their resolve over the years and congratulated the Commander-in-Chief of the BDF, Major General Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa for his ongoing efforts to maintain the success of the BDF. His Majesty also extended his appreciation to the members of the BDF who His Majesty said have carried out their duties sincerely as well as to previous generations who have helped to build the BDF, paying them much respect for their efforts. His Majesty also expressed appreciation for those who participated in the Arab Quality through Operation Return of Hope under the leadership of Saudi Arabia for enforcing the values of justice and legitimacy in Yemen, as well as for offering humanitarian aid to the people of Yemen. His Majesty concluded by wishing success to all. The commander of the BDF then presented a commemorative gift to His Majesty the King to mark the occasion. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marking the 51st anniversary of the Bahrain Defense Force. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad extended sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King on the BDF Day. He stressed that the BDF is a source of pride for all Bahrainis, being the nation's protective shield that defends its stability, unity, and achievements. He wished His Majesty the King many happy returns of the occasion as well as abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable from His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 51st anniversary of the Bahrain Defence Force. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad extended sincerest congratulations to His Royal Highness on the BDF Day and wished him abundant health, happiness and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan, Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II, at the Qadabiyya Palace today, where His Royal Highness Prince Salman welcomed the Crown Prince of Jordan's visit and where the brotherly relations between Bahrain and Jordan were reviewed. His Royal Highness Prince Salman affirmed that the brotherly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Jordan have experienced progress and development on all aspects which have been reinforced in light of the special care that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Abdullah bin Al Hussein II of Jordan have taken. For his part, His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein conveyed the regards of His Majesty the King of Jordan to His Royal Highness Prince Salman, praised Bahrain to Jordan relations and highlighted the efforts that His Royal Highness Prince Salman and the Kingdom of Bahrain have carried out to maintain and further develop those relations. His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein wished Bahrain ongoing development and progress. Following His Royal Highness Prince Salman's reception of His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein, the national anthems of Bahrain and Jordan were performed and the Guard of Honor were assembled to salute them. His Royal Highness Prince Salman then held a lunch banquet which was attended by senior officials in honor of His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein and the accompanying delegation.
başlayarak Kemper'e
as part of his official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II of Jordan today toured the office of the first Deputy Prime Minister, the UF DPM, along with His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and first Deputy Prime Minister. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince welcomed His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan to the Kingdom of Bahrain, noting that the visit reflects the importance of the Bahraini-Jordanian relations. During his visit, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan met with the OFDPM staff and was briefed on each department's scope of work, including ways in which each department contributes towards achieving the office's objectives. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted that the OFDPM is committed to improving the executive authority's performance through the implementation of a series of strategic plans that aim to enhance citizens' living standards in line with the aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan Jordan was also introduced to a number of ongoing initiatives pioneered by the EOF DPM to enhance public service delivery and accelerate development. Earlier, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa welcomed His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan, Al Hussein bin Abdullah II, who arrived in Bahrain on an official visit. His Royal Highness Jordan's Crown Prince was also welcomed by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister in Attendance, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the President of the Court of the Crown Prince, Sheikh Khalifa bin Daij Al Khalifa, the Private Secretary to the the Crown Prince Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa and a number of senior officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable from His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Honor Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, marking the 51st anniversary of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF. His Honor Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad extended sincerest congratulations to His Royal Highness on BDF Day and wished him abundant health, happiness and prosperity. 
His Royal Highness, wife of His Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, sponsored the opening of an art exhibition by artist Maryam Fakhro this morning. The exhibition was held at the Art Center, which is associated with the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. Her Royal Highness expressed pride in the sophistication of Bahraini fine arts and praised the efforts of Maryam Fakhro in preparing the exhibition and for presenting in it a series of fine artistic works that have been inspired by the local context, which Her Royal Highness said reflects the experiences of the artist and her experience in translating them into art. Her Royal Highness said that Fakhro's work represents the work of the Bahraini artist whose experiences stem from her highly cultured and modern lived experience. For her part, Sheikh Hamayu bint Muhammad Al Khalifa expressed thanks to Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika for her support of Bahraini important uh, culture events, especially those that involve the artistic expression of Bahraini women. Sheikh Hamay bin Muhammad expressed pride in the local artistic scene that she said has yielded positive initiatives from artists such as Maryam Fakhra, who has made important contributions in the field. Sheikh Hamay added that such exhibitions are key in acquainting the audience with the latest artistic productions by Bahraini artists. The Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from His Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the 51st anniversary of the Bahrain Defense Force. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad extended sincerest congratulations to the Commander-in-Chief of the BDF Day, praising its development and combat readiness. He stressed that the BDF is Bahrain's protective shield that defend its stability. He wished the Commander-in-Chief abundant health and happiness. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, His Majesty deputized the Commander in Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF Field Marshal, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, to inaugurate the Bahrain Oncology Center today, which coincides with the 51st anniversary of the establishment of the BDF. Present at the event were Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalifa Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Supreme Health Council President Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Defense, Lieutenant General Sheikh Daij bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Commander in Chief's anthem was played. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين 
also present was Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Hassan bin Abdullah Khalaf, Education Minister Majid bin Ali Naimi, Health Minister Faiqa bin Saida Saleh, Information Affairs Minister Ali bin Mohammed al Rumehi, National Security Agency Chief Lieutenant General Adil bin Khalifa al Fadl. Upon arrival, the BDF Commander in Chief was received by National Guard Commander General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa al Khalifa, Defense Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan al Naimi, Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Saigr al Naimi, and King Hamad University Hospital Commander Major General Dr. Sheikh Salman bin Atiyatullah al Khalifa. Sayyidi Sahib al Maali, Naltaqi fi hadha al Yawm al Mubarak. للاحتفال بافتتاح مركز البحرين للأورام والذي يقام برعاية كريمة من لدن سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة عاهل البلاد المفدى القائد الأعلى حفظه الله ورعاه ويتزامن حفلنا هذا مع مرور الذكرى الحادية والخمسين لتأسيس قوة دفاع البحرين وخير ما نبدأ به حفلنا هذا آيات من الذكر الحكيم يتلوها على مسامعنا الرائد مرش الديني ناصر راشد الغدير The ceremony commenced with the recitation of verses from the Holy Quran من الشيطان الرجيم إن هذا القرآن يهدي للتي هي أقوم ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أجرا كبيرا وأن الذين لا يؤمنون بالآخرة أعتدنا لهم عذابا أليما ويدعو الإنسان بالشر دعاءه بالخير وكان الإنسان عجولا وجعلنا الليل والنهار آيتين فمحونا آية الليل وجعلنا آية النهار مبصرة لتبتغوا لتبتغوا فضلا من ربكم ولتعلموا عدد السنين والحساب وكل شيء فصلناه تفصيلا وكل إنسان ألزمناه طائره في عنقه ونخرج له يوم القيامة كتابا يلقاه منشورا اقرأ كتابك كفى بنفسك اليوم عليك حسيبا من اهتدى فإنما يهتدي لنفسه ومن ضل فإنما يضل عليها ولا تزر وازرة وزر أخرى وما كنا معذبين حتى نبعث رسولا صدق الله العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Following that, the King Hamad University Hospital Commander Major General Dr. Sheikh Salman bin Atiyatullah Al Khalifa delivered a speech in which he lauded His Majesty the King's patronage of this event. He also praised the limitless support of the BDF's Commander in Chief and extended his thanks for attending the ceremony. <laughs> وأنتم اليوم تشهدون افتتاح مركز البحرين للأورام هذا الصرح الطبي المتقدم والذي يعد نقلة نوعية تضاف إلى الصروح الطبية في مملكة البحرين مركز البحرين للأورام 
هذا المركز العصري المتخصص والمتميز والذي يحتوي على 120 سرير للبالغين وبزيادة 40 سرير للأطفال في المرحلة التالية والمزعم الانتهاء منها في نهاية 2019 ويحوي المركز على أحدث المعدات الطبية والمتخصصة ومنها جهاز البيت ام ار وهو الأول من نوعه في الشرق الأوسط والذي باستطاعته تشخيص البؤر السرطانية متناهية الصغر في مراحلها الأولى كما تم تحديث جهاز Linear Accelerator والذي يعالج جميع حالات الأورام دون الحاجة للابتعاث الخارج وجهاز Linux MR ويعد الأول من نوعه في المنطقة والخامس في العالم والذي يتميز بدقة في تدمير الخلايا السرطانية دون الإضرار بالأنسجة الطبيعية للمريض وكذلك على الجراحة الروبوتية والتي تعزز الدقة والمرونة والتحكم من خلال عرض مكبر وثلاثي الأبعاد لموقع الجراحة كما تم تجهيز المركز بصيدلية آلية تعمل على تحضير الأدوية بدقة عالية لتفادي الأخطاء البشرية وسرعة الإنجاز ولقد بلغت تكلفة الأجهزة عشرة ملايين دينار بحريني وتم تخصيص عشر غرف لزراعة النخاع والحمد لله تمت أول عملية لزراعة النخاع بنجاح في أكتوبر 2018 كما يحتوي على 14 غرفة للعناية المركزة وغرفتين للعمليات ومركز أبحاث السرطان وقد تم اجتذاب الخبرات العالمية بالتعاون مع جامعة إرقس بجمهورية تركيا بهدف تدريب طاقم طبي بحريني على مدى خمس سنوات ونعمل مستقبلا على الاعتماد على الطاقة الشمسية لتوفير 40% من حاجة المستشفى للطاقة الكهربائية بقدرة ثلاثة ميجا وات سيدي معالي القائد العام تم إنجاز ذلك في العهد الزاهر لسيدي صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة حفظه الله ورعاه وبرعاية كريمة من لدن السمو الملكي الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رئيس الوزراء الموقر وعناية كريمة من لدن السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد الأمين نائب القائد الاعلى لقوى الدفاع البحرين. وختاما ارفع اسماء ايات التهاني والتبركات لمعاليكم بمناسبه ذكرى تاسيس قوى الدفاع البحرين ال 51 والتي يتزامن مع احتفالا اليوم بافتتاح مركز البحرين للاورام. واسمحوا لي سيدي ان اتقدم بالشكر الجزيل لسيدي صاحب المعالي الفريق طبيب الشيخ محمد بن عبد الله الخليفه رئيس المجلس الاعلى للصحه والشكر موصول لمديريه الاشغال العسكريه وشركه الكوهجي للمقاولات ومازن العمران للاشتراكات الهندسية والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Then a welcoming poem was also delivered for this occasion صباح كعيد صباح كعيد هذا الذي استبشر فرحا بمليكه صباح سعيد أتى مزينا فصاغ الذهب من ترحيبه أهلا وسهلا ملء قلوبنا أهلا كما الزهر في ربيعه ترحيبنا يسمو لك سيدي كالطير يختال في سمائه قد زدتنا شرفا أنعم به كالغيث كريم في سيله حظينا بصرح حظينا بصرح لبحريننا فشكرا لمن حث لقيامه وقائدنا الفذ قد صانه يبني العقول قبل جدرانه مبارك هذا المكان كما قصر ربى فرحا بضيفه أو كالمكان المقدس إذ ينبغي للمشفى خير تكريمه فبه مصاب وذو علة فبه مصاب وذو علة أقبل يرجو خير طبيبه وكم مريض يشكو لنا ضيقا أهمه رغم رغيده نحن لهم نحن لهم ما زاد السقم كالدرع يأبى لمصيبه أو كالتي تظلل طفلها أو كالذي أحسن لقريبه فأما الشفاء ففضل الإله ولا نأل سعيا لأسبابه فأما الشفاء ففضل الإله ولا نأل سعيا لأسبابه
فإن كان علما قصيا نأى حملناه طوعا نأتي به فالعلم نور وما امتنع فالعلم نور وما امتنع العلم عن عزم طلابه ولا شق بعد ولا غربة فمن جد نال الخير كله هذه بلادنا هذه بلادنا نسعى لها ومن مثلنا زهوا ببلاده بلد ذاع خيرا تاريخه تبجل ذكرا منذ قديمه نربو فتربو البلاد بنا نبذل فلا نبخل بعطائه نعاهدكم أن نحمي الثرى نعاهدكم أن نحمي الثرى فنحن أطباء له كجنده ويا رب احفظ لنا مليكنا فيا رب احفظ لنا مليكنا ودم بخير طول بقائه وارزقه عنا خير الجزاء وارزقه عنا خير الجزاء فالجود يفيض من بابه الشكر لك سيدي للمدى على اتساع البحر وبامتداده شكرا A commemorative gift along with the annual report of the King Hamad Hospital and the Bahrain Oncology Center were presented to the Commander-in-Chief. Following that, the Commander-in-Chief unveiled the curtain of the commemorative plank for the center, marking its opening, after which he toured the center and inspected various medical units and state-of-the-art equipment. For this occasion, his, the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, expressed pride in the efforts of His Majesty the King during stages of construction and foundation of the BDF that has been granted the most sacred of tasks. The Commander-in-Chief called the unwavering support of His Majesty the King and his aspirations that culminated in making the BDF a modern defense force uh, possessing arms, gear and men comparable to the latest armies in developed countries. The Commander-in-Chief praised the development the BDF is witnessing for the preservation of security and stability of the Kingdom, recalling in this regard the fallen soldiers whom their sacrifices will forever be remembered in Bahrain's history. The Commander-in-Chief also affirmed that the constant care of His Majesty the King to develop medical systems of the Bahrain Defense Force have made these systems achieve the highest levels of treatment.
Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa has inaugurated the new premises of Bahrain Embassy in Brussels in the presence of Belgium's Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs Didier Reinders. The minister hailed the relations of friendship between Bahrain and Belgium, which are constantly developing at all levels since the establishment of the diplomatic relations between the two countries nearly four decades ago. He also stressed that the inauguration of the new premises of the Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Brussels will enhance the relations between the two countries as well as invest all the available opportunities to strengthen bilateral cooperation for the common interest of the two countries. He also added that this new premises will further support the two countries' objectives in establishing peace, security, stability, development and prosperity at the regional and international levels. Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks to the Rangers and all the Belgian Foreign Ministry staff for their cooperation in facilitating the move into the new embassy of the Kingdom of of Bahrain in Brussels, which will serve in strengthening relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain, the European Union and the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO. The minister also highlighted the significant efforts of the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Kingdom of Belgium and the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, Dr. Bahia Jawad al Jashi, who is also the representative of the Kingdom of the European Union and all staff of the Embassy, whose efforts culminated in the inauguration of the new premises wishing them all further progress and prosperity. Reinders expressed his pride to have attended the inauguration of the new premises of the Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Brussels, stressing that this step will further develop the relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Belgium at all levels for the benefit of both countries and their people. Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments signed a bilateral agreement of understanding with an auction company owned by Bahrain Mumtalikat Holding Company, which will be managed by the company in cooperation with specialized companies under the terms of the agreement. The company will provide all auction services relating to courts, court administration, the management of miners' funds, as well as the organization and management of public and electronic auction books, procedures for real estate and movable mainly for sale, which will contribute to the development of sales transactions, completion and minimize time required to determine the implementation files under the full supervision of the courts concerning related procedures. The Council of Representatives held its eighth meeting of the first ordinary session of the fifth legislative term this morning, chaired by Speaker of the Council, Fawzia bin Abdullah Zaina. The Council agreed to change some of the labor laws that govern the civil sector and referred them to the Shura Council. The Council disapproved of the Foreign Affairs and National Defense Committee recommendations to exempt disabled persons from paying traffic fees under certain circumstances and referred the decision to the Shura Council. The Council Council sustained its position on the Shura Council's decision on reorganizing traffic law, which include the decrease of fees to half of its current amount if paid within 15 days. The Council also suspended a report by the Public Utilities and Environment Committee on the creation of an agency on nutrition, as well as a report on the regulation of fishing and the protection of marine life based on the recommendation of the chairman of the committee. And the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, yesterday held a press briefing on the fiscal balance program, during which the minister highlighted the program's latest developments and successes. The minister confirmed that the government is on track to achieving all fiscal balance program objectives that aim to enhance citizens' living standards. He highlighted the latest developments of the 10 billion US dollars financial support agreement signed between the Kingdom of of Bahrain, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and the State of Kuwait and reviewed the proposed mechanisms that aim to achieve a balanced budget by the end of 2022. He affirmed that Bahrain's positive economic growth is being maintained in parallel with the fiscal balance program despite challenges, noting that as a result of Bahrain's continuous diversification efforts since 2002, the Kingdom's annual non-oil growth rates sits at over 7.5 
0.5%, with the non-oil sector now contributing more than 80% of GDP. The minister affirmed that initial estimates reveal a decrease of 35% in comparison to the 2017 state budget deficit as a result of successful budget restructuring measures introduced in 2015 in addition to the fiscal balance program. He then recognized the important role the media plays in increasing citizens' awareness of current initiatives and growing global understanding of Bahrain's development. The minister concluded by expressing his gratitude to the legislative authority and the private sector for supporting the Ministry of Finance and National Economy, noting that these individuals and bodies represent key propellers in inclusive economic growth.